Well, there you go. I had no idea that all we had to do was make you wipe your ass with your socks and then wear them in a the game, and that would turn the whole thing around. Who'd have thunk? What else did we learn, guys? How about this? We fucking learned that it doesn't matter who is hurt or not. If you prepare properly and work your ass off, you have a good chance to win. They aren't supermen on the other side of the line, okay? They are people. We play people every week. You see what happens when you want it more? Oh, dear. We have so many injuries. Boo-hoo. No Beckham. Oh, my. What will we do? People out on offense. People out on defense. Offensive linemen have to play out of position. Oh, Rogers Cromarty is being punished. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You can have all the excuses all day long. Excuses are for losers, okay? You strapped on a pair as a team today, gentlemen. All right. A few things. We made the switch from mac and cheese to Sullivan, calling the offensive plays. And I like the way the plays were mixed, okay? I felt we had a different offensive energy last night. It all seemed to come together. Again, what did we learn? We had offensive linemen playing out of their natural position, and we had no-name receivers in every slot, and we played the number one rushing defense in the league. And what happened? We learned we don't need Eli to throw four touchdowns and 400 yards, okay? We don't need Beckham to catch 12 passes for 150 yards, okay? What we need is no turnovers, ball control, timely first downs, good plays at the right time, and solid defense. That's how you win games in the NFL! Darkwa, you were huge. I mean, come on. Just running for 15 yards on first and 10 from our own one is huge. You gave us a meaningful run every time we needed it, whether it was a big play or a clock killer. You were our workhorse. And you were solid. Like a rock. Eli. You know, Eli doesn't have to have gaudy stats for us to win, okay? No interceptions. He didn't fall down when people sneezed on him. Eli, you did what we needed. You simply did not let the wheels come off the wagon at any point. That's more important than being a gunslinger. Spags, you had the defense ready to play, baby. JPP with three sacks. We give up ten points. We block a field goal. We hold at the goal line on fourth down. Huge plays. We did everything we needed to do on defense to give the team a real chance to win. You know, my mother-in-law, as you know, was not going to give any more picks until you morons won. So you won. So next week, she will not only go to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and bet, but she will give you her picks again. Lucky you. You know, felt good to take a shower after the game, and it didn't smell. You didn't smell like smelly jackasses, did you? Look, guys, we're one in five, okay? I'm not looking at anything but the next game, okay, gentlemen? Let's prepare for the next game. You have to take it one step at a time. So just think about the next step, okay? You deserve to win this game. You did. You earned it. You defied the odds. You could be four and two right now, but we're one and five. You know what the difference is between four, four and two is like an ice cream cone. One and five is an ice cream cone that someone sneezed on and was dropped on the on the beach, and then a fat guy sat on it and farted. Get it? You want a nice ice cream cone? Work hard this week. Play hard this week, and then we can talk about ice cream cones, okay? Now get out of here. Good job. Real good job, man. Last night, you were the New York Giants.